Hello students, Sacred Art High School welcomes you. Today we will be studying Science Chapter 6 Substances in Daily Use. In this chapter we are going to study about the substances and the objects that we use in our daily life. All substances are made up of very small particles. Objects are made from these substances. Objects have specific shape and their parts also have proper arrangement which helps us to identify them. We use wood, plastic or steel to make a table, chair or cupboard. These substances like wood, plastic or steel has the strength required to make these articles. Also, these substances can be given any desired shape. It means that we consider the properties of substances to use them for making things. It means that if you want to make a particular object, you should first consider the properties of the substances that you will be needing to make the object. The same substance or material can be used to make many objects. For example, cotton. You can make cloth, fiber or thread, a sari, a handkerchief, a quilt, mattresses, a pillow from cotton. Iron. Iron is used for construction purposes, a girdle, parts of automobiles, an electric pole, tables, cupboards, etc. are made from iron. When you study the properties of substances, we can, we can select the substances suitable for our purposes. The substances that we use in our everyday life are divided into two parts, natural and man-made substances. Natural substances. Substances available to us or provided to us by mother nature are called as natural substances. Substances obtained from living things are called biotic substances means substances which are obtained from living things like animals and plants are called as biotic substances. Air, soil, water are substances that are not obtained from living things and they are called as abiotic substances. Substances which we get from plants are called as substances of plant origin. Example, jute and cotton. Man-made substances. One of the basic nature of man is to strive for newer things and to try to make life more comfortable. As a result of this effort, man not only learned to use natural substances but also began to process them to make new substances. Several such substances are easier to manufacture or produce and they can be manufactured in plenty at a low cost. Therefore, these substances came to be used in large scale. There are a great many such man-made substances in use today. New substances produced by processing naturally available substances are called man-made substances. Naturally available substances are chemically, are chemically treated to make new substances and these substances are called as man-made substances. Earlier, earlies or capes made of grass or sack cloth were used for protection from rain. But now, cloth umbrellas and raincoat came into use. Big cartons, thermocol, plastic are the man-made substances which are waterproof or water resistant. They are lightweight and easy for transportation. That is why they are being used increasingly. Irreversible changes an irreversible change is when something cannot be changed back to its original form. In many irreversible changes, new materials and substances are formed. Glass can be made from sand and calcium carbonate. However, sand and calcium carbonate cannot be obtained again from glass. Green chilies or tomatoes turn red after some time. But have you ever seen or heard of red tomatoes and chilies becoming green again? While making man-made substances, the properties of the substances undergo a change. This change occurs due to certain chemical reactions. These changes in the properties are permanent, that is, 
the original substance cannot be obtained again from the new substance such changes are called irreversible changes i hope you have understood this part thank you in the next part we will study about production of substances that is rubber and paper thank you